Oh! oh! The knee up the middle landing! What a moment for that team out of Factory X. There's a lot of talent in that gym, and Yusuf Zalal's right there among them. The Moroccan Devils! Yusuf Zalal! Your speed was a big advantage for you tonight in the Octagon, and you really did have what I believe is your best performance to date. Veronica Welcome to UFC Unfiltered. Please tell me that's on video. I've never been happier. I'm made for a fucking podcast. That's dangerous. Listen to me, we're out of here. Man, you're always, I love that you're always smiling. <laughs> Even on the, you're always smiling, and you should be smiling, man. Talk about making the most of this second stint in the UFC. What the hell, bro? You, if the ship was ever not right, it, it is just, it's fucking, it's, it's like Connor's fucking um, yacht. You're fucking, I don't know, I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> fucking, you're That's fucking okay. iron, I love, bro. I love, I love that energy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I need right there. Dude. Tell me, man, cloud nine right now or what? Uh, for sure, man. Like, obviously, this is what I wanted, right? I wanted to to get my name out there. I wanted to go perform, not just win. You know what I mean? That's the biggest thing. I feel like I told you guys this in the last interview, last last time we had. It's like not a lot of people talk to you about when you just win a, a normal decision, you know? Unless you it's top 10, top five, then sure, they talk about you. You know what I mean? But when they you just go out there and finish people and perform, you know, you, you get – you get the notice, so that's 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 what I want. I, obviously, I got a lot, a lot, a lot longer road ahead of me. You know what I mean? So I'm not I'm not pleased with this. This I'm very happy what happened, but obviously, I got a lot a lot of ways to go. Were you surprised that I mean, you finished him, but were you surprised that you needed to do anything after that knee? That was a devastating knee uh, that dropped him, and I couldn't believe that he was still fighting after that knee hit him. So in my head, when I was doing it. I was I, I felt it in the first round and I was like okay like I saw him duck I was like okay cool yeah. so in the second round I just threw it not like full power I just threw it just to kind of see what he's gonna do and he walked into it oh, so it's okay. kind of like like kind of like full mode so I was like all right in my head like before the the younger you said were like will be almost like surprised myself so I was like I was like oh okay so that's why I just like went for it right away and uh, yeah I was surprised I was very surprised about. Like he took that hit like like really good and really just kept going. So that was that was pretty impressive on his side, to be honest. Hey, you said I'm looking here now. Look, I want to, it's getting it ends on a positive note. But listen, we had three losses. I mean, and one of them was Ilya Tapora, which was his uh, decision. Yeah, yes, a close fight if I remember correctly. Ain't that right, you said? Very right. close fight. If you Very. gave me two more rounds, I would have finished them. Very close fight. So you were in there with him. I'm going to talk more about that after. But you had three in a row, then a draw. So you still didn't get that. Uh. And then you now, dude, a fucking tear. S six fights, two K two um, TKOs, or KOs, and now you just had four submissions in a row. What? What changed, if anything? Because you were never. It's not like you were ever not in a fight, like in the fight that you lost, but like. Dude, what is, what happened? Tell me. Tell us. Tell the world. Uh, I want to change my life. That's that's what happened. I had a purpose behind that, and that's the biggest thing. Like, I want to I wanna go change my life. I want to be the guy that's everybody. Like, I go see it in my teammates. I go see it in the UFC. I'm like, man, this guy just has his life, like, amazing. You know what I mean? He's taking care of his family. He's taking care of his kids. He's taking care of all this stuff, and he's not really stressing about money and stuff like that. I feel like I always grew up with money problems and money issues and stuff like that. So for me, it was like, hey, like I've been in this sport for a long time and and I know to 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 make that money and to really change your life, you have to go and perform. So everything I do is with purpose, especially in the fight game right now. Was there a part of you? Because again, the, the three losses in a row were decisions. One was a split. Then after a split decision, there's a draw. So, the, I mean, two immensely close fights which has got to be very frustrating and they always say don't leave it in the judge's hands and so you've had five straight stoppages do you approach things differently in the cage now after especially those two 
narrow losses? Are you like, fuck this? I just, I, I have to do something to, to make this uh, not go to the judges. Hundred percent, uh, because I took full responsibilities of those losses and those close losses because I let it happen. I decided in the cage not to to go in the second round, let it go, or the third round. You know what I mean? Because I made that choice. You know, I feel like I was always focused on, like I said this before, like not embarrassing myself, mm-hmm. not like uh, making everybody proud, everybody else proud, not not making myself proud. You know what I mean? That's the most important part. So like I said, that decision was, I made that decision. So for me, it's like now it's like that the difference is like, I'm making that decision not to go back in the locker room and cry about it and be like, well, I could have had more. I should have done this. I should have done that. It's like, hey, man, you beat me. You beat me. This is the game. This is the fight game. You know what I mean? But now I'm like, I go in back locker rooms like, I wish I would have done like this cool move or something like that. Nah, but like, I wish I would have let it, let it go more or something like that. Nah, like it is what it is. Can I, I'll grab it. Sorry, Jay. I was just going to say your endurance never really seems to be a factor. What, what, what's going on there? Is anything special you're doing? Were you blessed always with good endurance? Some guys, man, they jump on a treadmill just uh, coming off the couch. They're looking all right. Me, I got to ease back into it, but <laughs> now I ain't running for shit. But, uh, you know, what is it with your endurance? Anything special you're doing, man? I don't know. I think, bro, it's just the African genes that I got, bro. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I really don't know. I was like, I feel like it's like my high energy, too. They call me, I, like, I have a hummingbird heart, bro. So it's like, it's like I just wanted to go, you know? So I was like, I, I'm ready to go. But I'm always like, I was like, man, I'll take a short notice. Like, I'll be ready to go, man. I really don't care. You know what I mean? But it's like, it's definitely like all oh, the work that we do at Factory X2, man. They're like, those guys, they be fucking killing us, man. I, they, that's nonstop, bro. It's like, obviously, you don't want to go so much that you're going to get hurt. You know what I mean? But it's like, you, you get work, man. Like, you, you're ready to get pushed. So that's, yeah. I, and you said a word, interesting word before. You said you didn't want to embarrass yourself. Was that like meaning that you were fighting, uh, taking a couple of less chances because you didn't want to get subbed or, or knocked out? You mean that's what you're worried about? 100%. You just called it out right there. I was fighting for everybody else than myself. Mm. I was fighting for my country. I was fighting for my coaches, my people, my my family. I'm like, okay, like if I throw this punch, I might get knocked out if I do this. So I was questioning everything coming into the fight. I was like, there's nothing to question. I trained my ass off for the whole camp or whatever the thing is. It's like, I've done the work to get done. Like, this is the fun time. Like, this is why you go and enjoy the moment. I like really make memories. That's like the time to go. Like, fuck everybody else. Like, literally, I don't care about everybody else. Like, What's most important is me. And again, it's like what I do out there. And you still fuck around with that Versa Climber or no? Fuck that Versa Climber, man. That's the worst <laughs> thing, bro. Till I, this day, till this day, same thing I told you guys last time. That fucker was like, I won't, bro, I couldn't sleep Sunday night, bro, because I had to wake up Monday morning doing that motherfucker. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's. It's so great when it's your last day of uh, when you're leaving for the fight week. You're like, oh, at least I don't got to see that fucker for a while. Oh, yeah. that's why I don't. I, I train one time on fight week, which is on Wednesday. That's it. Yeah, I got one at my school that's collecting dust. I don't go near that. No one likes it, Matt. No one no volunteers. One likes it. No one likes it. I don't blame them. Plus, it's, now- literally, it's literally collecting rust because I had to light of the pipe leak and I got to get a new one. But who knows, <laughs> if, I'm, who knows if I'm going to? When, <laughs> now, when you do it, uh, Yusef, how long will you do it for? Like, what, what is the, the worst Versa Climber day of the camp? Uh, it's Mondays, uh, when you're four weeks out. So when you're four weeks out, they do, uh, 20 seconds on 10 seconds off for eight times, but that's after all the lifting all that hour. So the last hour, the last four minutes, we do that verse and oh my God, bro. It, it changes my it, like it fucks my whole day up. It really does. Yeah, and and you tr- start dreading it as you're getting closer to it. Like, you know, I'm going to be on that Versa climber in 15 minutes. Yeah, I literally start like thinking, like I think about it. And I'm like, I gotta be ready to face this. Like this is basically an opponent. I'm ready to face this opponent, and I'm like, but this opponent can go forever. I can't. So that was that's the whole thing about it. And so yeah, there's a lot of talks that goes into it, but we we'll get it done though. We we'll get it done. <laughs>